All right, hey, Josh here at a Columbia Company. 60 by 100 in progress here in Fremont, Ohio, day three. Hey, by the way, if you like the video, hey, give us a thumbs up. We're doing our best to put out some good content and give you an idea of these projects that we're doing. You can see what we're doing today, again, day three. The guys here are putting on drip stop. See that, the drip stop, what it is, it acts as a vapor barrier. Uh, it's attached, it comes to the metal. So you can see right here, let me go right over here. So you can see, you see that? And then what you could do with this, you can actually pressure wash this versus the vapor barrier that's attached to the underneath of the metal. But you could actually, what you could do here, and this actually has a 20 year warranty on it. So this drip stop here, it comes pre-assembled to the underneath of the metal and it acts as a condensation barrier. But you can see condensation barrier. You can see it provides for an easy cleanup. It's okay. All right, so drip stop, there's an idea for you guys. You're thinking about whether if you want to go with vapor barrier or with the drip stop. Now on our truss system, we talked about this before. But you can see on our truss system right there, now this is a 2400 MSR. What that means is the strength of the lumber, MSR lumber, machine stress rated. I mean, that's a pretty high level there. Now it's spanning 60 feet. You see that lake in the background? Isn't this a beautiful setting? Not just a topic, but isn't that a beautiful setting there? But 60 foot, but it's an MSR 60 foot truss. Now, lumber can come in different factions, 1650, 2100, 2400. Now, the higher up, obviously, the stronger the density, the better the lumber is. All right. Now, as far as the post hole depth right here, before we get into this, I want to show you here a little bit about the base where we use a number one grade. And why we use a number one grade, again, again, we're setting this against the ground. And we're, we're trying to avoid rot. Now, if you're using a number two grade, like a tongue and groove board, a lot of times you go to the big box stores, you gotta watch out, you gotta ask these builders, is it a number one or number two grade? But this is a number one baseboard treated board, okay? And the same thing here with the yellow pie. You can see the double, it's a two by 12 right there, a double top beam header that holds the trusses. We, hold, we do this four feet apart, not eight, nine feet. And the reason why we do that, four feet apart, is we think there's more lumber. And we know, and it's not, we think, we know, there's more lumber used in a building than if you space it out eight or nine feet or 10 feet or 12 feet and you notch it in the post. And that's why we do that. We do it four feet. But again, a number one grade, two by 12 yellow pine. Not a number two or not a Douglas fir, not a punkier wood, okay? Now, Perlin spacing right here. Obviously, this is a two grade SPF that we're utilizing here. Uh, 24 inches, two foot on center there. So that gives you an idea here. Now, as far as the post hole depth, now in Ohio, the frost line, this is Ohio, the frost line depth of this is 42 inches. So what we have to do, we have to get below that. So we dig down 54 inches. And then what we do is we put this three-ply laminated column right there. All right, a three-ply laminated column. And we put that on a concrete cookie. And then what we do is we put two by six uplifts. We run them east and west, then also north and south. So we have uplifts that are anchoring that in there. And we backfill that with stone. You can see the stone that we brought in here. It's a 411 mix stone. You can kind of see it here. We don't backfill it with dirt, but we backfill it with a 411 firm mix. So that gives you an idea here. Day three, a couple tips here. You can see the guys are going at it here. Um, day three, pretty good progress for 60 by 100. So do us a favor, like the video, give us a thumbs up, and we're going to keep putting out content for you. All right, more information at a